It's really good to see. I just, how was Charles when I left last time? He didn't look quite very happy to have sessions. He, he look, he's not. He really doesn't want to come. He doesn't want to be involved. He just thinks yeah. it's all, all me, up to me. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, I, we can't force people to have counselling sessions. So if he doesn't want to have them, that's fine. I'm, I'm happy to just work with you if, if that's okay. I, I'm more than happy. If he wants to join in, that'd be fantastic. But if not, I don't want you to fret. Yeah, look, I mean, the thing is, when he comes over here, he stands over Dad and he tells him what to do. He really gets at him. Right. You know, and it's like he's oh, monstering is the word that comes to mind. Okay. He sort of monsters Dad. So how much does your dad actually understand? I, look, I think that he might understand, it might take it in at the time, because I'll see him sort of turn his head away so he's reacting, but then it, it's forgotten. Yeah. So he just he doesn't hold anything yeah. in it or doesn't remember anything. So do you think Charles scares him? Oh yeah, I do. So you do? I, I think his manner does. Right. You know, cause he, I mean, Charles is a big man. He's, yeah, if he's peering over here. Yeah, and he's really sort of, he's, 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 he, he looks threatening. Okay. And the words he's saying, he's, he's, you know, he scares Dad. He tells him he's going to have a, a tube stuck down his throat to make him eat and things like that. Yeah. It's scary. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, where is Charles today? Is he at work or? Um, he was, I think he's supposed to be coming, I don't know. Okay. If he turns up, it's another matter. Yeah. So have you guys been arguing this week or? <laughs> we had an argument just before you came in. Oh, did you? Yeah. What, what was it about? Just Dad, me telling him off as a, standing over Dad and, till, and, and, and having a go with him. Oh, so he actually was here? Yeah, well he was here and he went away again. And then because of the there. argument? Actually he might even be out in the garden. Oh, okay. To be honest. Right. So did he storm out or was yeah. that because of the argument? Yeah, because uh, I told him doesn't you know, Yeah. After an argument, does he then calm down pretty quickly or does it last no, for days? No, he does just, just stay. He, he, sort of, he gets really, he gets grumpy and he holds, he holds grudges. So he holds grudges. Yeah, he doesn't forget. Not yeah, him. that makes things difficult. Yeah. I wanted to ask you last week too, have you been taking your dad to the doctors? Has he been having regular checkups? The doctor comes here. Oh, good. That makes yeah, things which is easier. Fantastic. Yeah, he's very so physically, he's doing okay. It's just the he's dementia. A, yeah, he really is. Yeah. Good. Physically, he's fine. Yeah. I mean, take normal tablets, heart pressure, blah blah blah, blood pressure, heart yeah. cholesterol, things like yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. But otherwise, he's all right. Okay. Oh, you're back. Oh, hello, Charles. Hi. Hi. We weren't quite sure if you were here or not. Yeah, well, you got I'm the not sure, shall I? We were in the garden. Oh, well, I mean, yeah. Uh, I was in the garden, but uh, it's a yes or no yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. Were you in the garden? Yes. 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 Okay. Charles, um, so uh, Margaret was just telling me that you had a bit of an argument before. Yeah. Well, you know, I think the fact is that um, you know, again, she, you know, she took Dad out of the nursing home, and uh, she's trying to do everything herself, and uh, keeps calling me. And I, look, I just don't, I just don't have the patience. Oh, this is good. It's one of the reasons why we left the nursing home. You can't, the house is not designed to have this. Sorry, Dad. Margaret, you don't have the facilities here. Charles. He's 
She's best to be back at the nursing home. Yes, I'm sure we can do it. Between the two of us, we can do it. Come on. I'm sure back up. I'll just give you a hand. Look, look. Stop it. This is not a good Just try. Come on. We don't have, we don't have, look, I just can't mug her. We don't have the facilities here. Come on, we can do this. No, we need to take him back to the nursing home. That's where he belongs. He's going to get the full care there at the nursing home. Okay? Charles, you're so... I just cannot lift him here. I've got to sort So negative. Come on, try. Just try. Look, let's get him back at the nursing home. Please try. No, let's take him back. No, he needs to go there. All right? Anyway, okay. That's the that's, uh, thing. So you know I don't have the patient. Record? Well, that's why I had to go to the garden before. Do you know you sound like a broken record? I had to go to the garden to vent out. I had to get my thoughts together, get the get my patient levels right. I just. I just get your thoughts together. They keep saying the same things over and over again. Can you continue Well, you keep ringing me about the same things over and over again. So, how am I supposed to. It's like a broken record. I'm, my anxiety keeps going up every time you ring me. Okay, Charles, firstly, um, just before you said um, you don't, you know, do I have a choice to be here, I want you to know you do have a choice, okay? Nobody's forcing counselling on you. If you don't want to be part of this, please understand that I'm not here to force myself on, onto the counselling, you know? So you have got the choice. However, just know that I'm here to help. And I'm, I want to know what the issues are and I'll tr try to find ways to help you both, all mm. right? It sounds to me that love is not the issue here. I know you both love your dad, and you, I know that you obviously love each other too, or you wouldn't be here mm. if you didn't, mm. all right? So it's not about love, it's about frustration. I know you think that your dad should still be in care because Margaret's finding it really hard to manage and, and you, you're saying you don't have time or, or the patience, um, and Margaret, you're saying you don't want him in nursing home because you're really worried about the type of care that he's receiving, right? So I, after last week's session, I, I kind of um, did a little bit of research uh, and I found some information for you both that I think might be useful. She's the travel counsellor. Given the fact that your dad is now in the home, I think it would be a good idea if we organised an aged care assessment to occur with your dad. Okay, We need to find out where he's at and what type of help you need in the home. Okay. Are you getting some um, carer's allowance? No, I'm not. Okay. Would... I know you think I am, I'm not. Well, yeah, I was led to believe that you are. No, not. So you're not. Okay. Because that's quite, you know, you'd have to fill out forms, go, you know, so you've I done none do. of that. No. All right. So that's a, there, there's financial help that you can actually get in order to help your dad. Because is he on it? to prove. You won't approve? What do you mean, why not approve? Well, you, you, you throw it at me like a... No, at the end of the day, I want the best for Dad. Because you might need finances in order to buy equipment. So a ramp for that, for the wheelchair. Mm. Um, you might need to modify your home. And I think that's going to be necessary to do that if he's going to be home permanently. Would there be enough in this thing to, to be able to... Well, that's what the... I, I'm not a specialist in that area, but when you get um, the carer's allowance, you, you, they'll, they'll help you. This, this assessment team, they will help you with that, okay. all right? So there's also respite nurses that can come to your home, okay? And what they are, they're, they're nurses that can come and assist. They can come for two to three hours a day, all right? They can shower your dad. Oh. They, they can help with, with that all that type of work. Oh, my God. 
Really? Yes. That would be such a help. So you're you're do, trying to do so much on your own. You can get a little bit of respite, and maybe when they're here, you don't need to be here. You can go for those two or three hours. You can go and do your shopping or just do something for yourself. That would be fair because I've been getting sort of the supermarket to to deliver stuff, but it's really hard. You can't go and choose your own. Yeah, but you might want to go have coffee with a friend. I mean, are you doing things for yourself? I mean, this you know, it's it's a big job looking after. A person and you can also ring up the council and see how they can help they can organize cleaning services really yes so you wouldn't have to do I, all the cleaning on your own I thought that that was only because I'm not old I'm, I'm not elderly myself no they'll they don't assess you they'll be assessing your your dad they'll be looking at the needs his but needs they say well you know you can you can look after your dad you can do the cleaning what would they do? no this is to help carers because it's a very, very big job to, to look after a person. That would be amazing. So the, the, the aged care assessment team, we can give them a call and we can find out how we can get on a waiting list. There may be a little bit of a waiting list though to, for them to actually come out. So social workers will come out and they'll ask you a lot of questions. What do you need? What does he need? And then they'll come up with a plan for you. All right? That would be fantastic. Thank you very much. It's a great idea. Yeah, good. Okay, so, so if they come, then you're not going to need to be, sort of stand over him and, and, and keep telling him what's going to happen. And, and Yeah, I'm not standing over him. I just want the best for him. And I just want you to understand you can't do it all yourself. Charles, it's not a matter of what you say to me. It's what you say to Dad. Oh. Don't you realise you absolutely terrify him? Oh, I can't see that. What? Well, you don't think that telling him he's going to have a, a tube shoved down his throat or a tube st- be, be a vegetable with a tube hanging out of him? You don't think that's scary for him? Well, no, I just feel that you know, he needs to get the message across because he doesn't un- listen to okay. you, you, you tell him off, you stand over him and you literally threaten him. He gets scared. Okay, so threatening, fighting around your... It sounds like there's been a lot of fighting around your dad. Yeah? yeah? A lot of fighting, peering over him, threatening... There is a title for that, and I hope you don't mind me me saying this, but that comes under elder abuse. Pardon? What? Elder abuse is when an elderly person is being exposed to threatening behaviour, um, just anything financial. No, I'll, I'll look, I've looked after him no, yeah. for many years when he was capable. We've, Worked together on certain projects and that, and uh, always we took care of one another. You, know, you can't be classing me as as an abusive person. Charles, no. do you do you um, think that maybe this whole situation makes you feel anxious, and with that anxiety then turns to anger? Do you think that could be happening? Mm, possibility, but yeah, yeah I, I, but I don't see that. You know? Okay. No. Because do you see Charles acting like this with other people or no. is it just with Dad? No, just just here within the family, just with us. Okay, because I know the way you've explained Charles can be quite abusive with Dad. But you're saying no, no you just want the best for him. Correct. So I'm just wondering, is this outer abuse or is it you being anxious and that anxiety turn, turning to anger? No. I don't think it's anxiety at all. I think it's straight out abuse. Oh, I disagree with that. Really? Yes. What makes you say that, Margaret? Okay, well, what about the time that... that go well, on, go on, go on, say it. Well, can I get the words out? See, that's abuse in itself. The time when I... I you were, I, After much begging and pleading, you allowed me to go to the doctor. I, you stayed here with Dad. I came back from the doctor and found him stuck in front of the TV with a sandwich and a glass of milk. He couldn't even reach the sandwich. No... And he, you were nowhere to be seen. I looked in the garden, I went to the neighbour, you were nowhere to be seen. I picked up the phone, rang home, you were there. Yes, because my wife had a fall and I had to go oh, home and look after her. So you just left your father? Because he was eating, he seemed okay at the time. He wasn't eating, how could he eat? He couldn't reach the food. Well, he seemed okay, we're not lifting, he you seemed okay. You are an abuser, that is what you oh, do. Oh, don't that think is, so. You are an abuser, you abuse me, you terrify him. All I want to do is look after Dad. I You're care right. about him so much. Oh, I can see how much you care about I him. I don't want to so be... Way, look, she says you love me, look, I don't think so. I don't want to be a carer, all right? I'm his son. So I don't want to be looking after him in that manner. You don't want to care, period. No, it's a matter of... Actually, actually, I think that's a fair, that's a fair point, Charles. 
that you don't want to be a Finally. Leader. I'm not saying that any type of peering over a person or, or um, you know, threatening or demanding of, of an elderly person is okay. I'm just saying, I understand what you're saying about you don't want to be a carer. You just want to be a son. And that's fair enough. That's your right. But if that's the case, we need to figure out something that's sustainable to help you, Margaret, because you don't want your dad to go in a home. But you still need to help somewhere. She's a travel counsellor. is about Mark keeps complaining now let's let's eat now come on dad you've got to eat come on dad if you don't eat you're going to end up in in the nursing home again okay you're going to lose weight okay you must eat try again dad you must eat you're going to lose too much weight and then come look after you you go back in the nursing home have one of these then you're like this Hey, have one of these. Dad, eat it. Come on. Oh my God. You can't do give him a donut. Oh, why not? You want it? You can't give him a donut. Oh. You can't give him a donut. He can't eat that. Well, have you, have you tried it? Give him proper food. Stop it. What do you mean, stop it? Just feed him properly. What? Well, you feed him. You want to eat, Margaret? It's just dry. Again, a little bit. From Papa. A little he bit. hasn't been eating. Look. Look, a little tiny bit. Come on. A little bit. Just you won't eat. Just for me. Just a little bit. You won't eat. So now you see what I go through every day. What do you go through? Because this, it's hard, it's not easy. Because you're giving it this rubbish. It's not rubbish, it's what yeah, this isn't food. Of course it's food. Just try the donut. You cannot give him the donut. Why not? Do you not get it? He cannot eat that. There's no there's no nutritional value. In it. It's actually bad for him. A, he'll choke on it. B, it's full of sugar, full of rubbish. We feed him this. It's got actually a protein. Dad, you've got to eat or you won't go in hospital. You'll go in the nursing home. Come on. You must eat. Don't speak of it. Just calm oh, down. I mean, calm speak down. To him I haven't got time. I've taken a short time off work. Poor baby. What, what do you mean, poor baby? And I just got to get back to work. You'll get back to work. Just. I haven't got the time, Mark. I don't know how you did it. Sorry, you don't know how I do it. No. On a twenty-four-seven basis is how I do it. If you got here a bit more often, it would be helpful. I haven't got time to do this, Mark. You've got, you're here now, that's all you have to do. Come on, Dad. Don't speak eat. to him like that. He's got to, well, he's not eating, he's got to eat. That's not the way to make him eat. Well, how are you going to make him eat? No, no, let's, this is my time, I'll let me eat, let me feed him. Dad, come on, eat. Not like that, too much. He's not going to eat that, just a little bit of the, on the spoon at a time. Well, he's got to eat. Dad, if you don't and eat... And you know what, that milk is cold. It's not cold. It is, it's no. ice cold, Dad, it's coming straight from... Dad, you must eat. Charles, you you're should, losing I too much you weight. You Charles, won't be able to I walk. You won't be able to talk. I told you to walk. We can't. It's a big job, and I understand you don't want to be a carer, and you've got your work, and you've got your family. But we need to kind of find a middle ground here. So if we can get the assessment team in to get you some respite and get you some help, maybe you can help a little bit. Could your dad come to your house? We can work something a bit. Maybe your, maybe your dad could come to your house maybe a couple of hours a day or every second day or even every third day. Just something to give Margaret a bit of time to breathe, some time alone. Maybe your dad, could, could he sleep at your house? Well, perhaps we can make some arrangements under certain circumstances. Yeah, and, and does your, do you have like children? Yes, you have, young, young children. Okay, so maybe that would be a nice thing for your dad. He might really enjoy being around kids that are screaming and running around and playing. Okay, do, you, do your kids come and visit? Uh, occasionally, not often, but occasionally, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Does your wife have a good relationship with your dad? Yes. Oh, so, because it kind of sounded a little bit disconnected. No, 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 no. It's only because she's not able, she got has a disability, and that's why she oh, can't she's be accessible. Yeah, okay, yeah, what's yeah. wrong? Can I ask what the disability Yeah, oh, she's involved in a car accident years ago, oh, and she can't walk long that. distances, oh, and uh, wow. she needs assistance. So therefore, okay. Uh, yeah, she can't just drop and do everything. That's why I'm doing all the running around, and that's why I've got the two jobs. Can I ask him a simple question? Yes. Given his attitude, and he's paying lip service saying, yes, Dad could go over there a couple of hours a day. How real do you think that, that would, do you think that would happen? I'm showing you what. I, I don't know. I don't know your family well enough to make that On judgment. If, if I sit, 
my job is to make suggestions. You take or leave. You, you can take it or leave it, basically. I'm just putting things out there, all right? If I say something, please don't feel obligated to say yes. If you think, no, that's not going to work for us, then I'd rather you just say, no, that, that won't work in my household. Well, yes. Well, with, with our circumstances, I'll still go back to putting that in the home only because yeah. of the care factor and because we can't do the full service of looking after it. Because you're sitting there to be yeah, care yeah, yeah. That's And to right. be honest with you, I don't know that I would want him to be over there, but given that he was left with a sandwich and a glass of milk that he couldn't reach. Okay. I, mean, I told you the reason because of that. Margaret, it, it really sounds like you've got really big trust, trust issues. No, no trust. No trust. No. And that's with anybody, I feel. Am I wrong? You, you tell me if I'm no, right or wrong. Of course not. I just don't trust him. Well, you don't trust me. I went well, to my wife. The, home, the home just weren't doing their job. I went home to look after the wife. It's not like I've gone out drinking. So it sounds like you're you're under quite a lot of pressure yourself. So I understand how this this can build anxiety for you. Mm. Of course, it, yeah, it does. It does. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I can't be there when, uh, as I said, when she phones all the time. Yeah. yeah. Can I ask you, Charles, what kind of emotional, um, you know? feelings are you going through with this whole process? Oh, very stressful. Yeah, I feel really stressed out. Okay. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I'll, I'll and I really want to walk out again, but you... I'm just trying to okay. respect to you. Well, I appreciate I staying here, you staying. You know, otherwise, I would, if it was just you in the room, I would have gone an hour ago. All right. Well, thank you so much for, for, for sticking it through. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I would love to have a session with you you next time and a session with you alone this if that's possible could could i next week when i come could i just have even if it's 15 minutes alone with you and 15 minutes alone with sure, you or 10 you. minutes even i wouldn't mind having a one-on-one -on -one chat with you both would that I'm be possible we can arrange that if it's going to come to some yeah. harmony with you know yeah I'll, or well, control i really the appreciate matter. that because mm. it just gives me a broader understanding on on mm. what you're all personally feeling because you there might be things you might not want to say mm -hmm. in front of each other and that's and I understand these things are very sensitive and I understand that all right yeah. so is that okay so I'll come back next week um, in the meantime I will put a referral through to the assessment team and get that ball ro rolling put you on a waiting list for that and I'll come back next time and, and I'll see you both one-on-one -on -one. Okay. all right okay. thank you thanks for coming see you later thank you